what is going on guys and welcome to Centration. Now Centration is a game that is currently on early access on Steam and it's a game I've been following for quite a while and I thought I'd share it with you now it's available on Steam and I'll run you through how the game is at the moment and what it's going to be shaping up to be. Please bear in mind this is on early access alpha on Steam and everything you are going to see in this video is most likely going to change and improve over time. So you may be thinking, what on earth is Centration? You might have honestly never have heard of this game. It's got a pretty small following, I'd say, at the moment. It's only recently gone on Steam, I believe yesterday it went onto Steam Early Access, but it has been running on the website for quite a while. Basically, if you've ever played Space Station 13, Centration is very much like that, but it's a 3D survival horror game based on a space station. It's played in round-based games, and you're assigned a certain role on the space station and you have to look after that area but you can also interact with the environment and the other crew members because it's a completely multiplayer game. Now currently with it sitting in alpha it's honestly nowhere near that kind of state. However they've decided to put it up on Steam just so you can see how the whole development's working and what exactly you might see in the future. Alright so the first thing I thought I'd point out is the actual settings that this game actually allows currently. Bear in mind this is in early access so the overall settings and options and gameplay that might be available are subject to change. So currently we've got the default resolution, full screen, that's absolutely fine. We've got anti alias image disabled, so let's turn that on. Texture quality, put that very high, I don't see why that's on low. Yeah sure we'll put that on enabled and shadows, we'll set that to enabled as well. Overall that's, it's not a huge amount of options to control. But I'm not really too into settings, so that's absolutely fine with me. Alright, so currently you are not allowed to host your own server. You was able to a while back, but I think for this current version they're just trying to keep you down to one server. And by the look of it, the centration server, there is four out of eight people playing it. So let's connect and see what's happening. The server didn't respond with session information. So I won't let me even join the server. And I can't click back to menu, that doesn't do anything. And there we go, we're now in the game. Now compared to when I originally tried playing this, back in the old version 1, was that the class as the alpha build? I'm not quite sure because this is kind of the alpha build as well. But in that older version, as um, this guy is just kind of chilling in the roof here, <laughs> I was getting terrible FPS and I'm getting about 200 FPS recording and about 500 not recording, so that's pretty pretty good. Alright, so it looks like they've made the station a lot bigger than it was originally. Got some kind of these character models there. <laughs> Got some kind of base light control, door control. Okay. I don't know if you can actually click anything on this. Oh man, what? Help list, help, toggle door, invalid password. Okay. So if I type in help. What does it say? Does it say anything? No. The light is just insane. Toggle. Door. Closed. Is that even a legit thing? I don't know if it's even doing anything. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Um, how do I get out of the screen? F again maybe? T. What was it? E. Ah, E. Okay. Uh, we'll try this one as well. Toggle lights. Oh god, you can turn the lights off. That's so awesome. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I must admit, that's pretty cool that you can just change the lighting on the station like that. There doesn't seem to be any audio unless I... I can't hear any audio. Let me bear with me one second. Let me see if my audio device has changed. Um, I can't change the settings in here, but there doesn't seem to be any audio in this game at all. Very odd. Um, okay, this looks like an airlock of some form, and the airlock is open. <laughs> Not sure if it's meant to be open. Wow, there's a massive planet here. A truly, oh god, I've just, I've just fell out the station. I've, oh, I've been teleported. <laughs> you almost died. Okay, don't fall out the station. That's fine. What have we got in here then? Danger, radioactive materials. Oh, I'm being pushed backwards as I try to go in this room. 
Okay, so we've got another room. Obviously, like I said, there's not really much to do at this point. It's more of a technical demo. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That looks like Gollum or something. That is creepy. How do you do that? It's like shift? How do you crouch? I can't see myself, so I don't know if I'm... I don't know, weird. It does look like this is a... Is this a window? Uh, is this a window? Window? No, I don't think that's a window. <laughs> don't go out there. It's very much a technical demo. I believe that's what you'd call it. So there's another one of these. We can kind of change the light in a bit. Make it a different colour. I wonder if I can make it purple. Oh, hell yeah. Is that light light intensity? That's pretty cool. Look at that. I've made like a purple light. Did it change it in here? Oh no, it didn't. It's a bit of a shame. Made a purple light, that's cool. So that obviously proves that when this is fully multiplayer, well it's multiplayer now really, but when this is fully available and the station's actually working, you'll be able to control the lighting in a specific area. Really nice. Also we've got another area up here. Some steps. What have we got here then? Base light control. Terminal disk. Please contact your nearest computer technician. Terminal's offline, I guess. I was watching a few streams of the devs actually basically building this and putting all these together. Pretty cool. I'll wait till that guy's finished using that and then we'll have a look what's on that uh, computer terminal. But like I said, um, how it's running? It's running pretty well, FPS wise. It's a little bit glitchy, and obviously the character models are kind of broken. And I, I seem to randomly just move all the time. <laughs> Look at the speed of the legs, though. That leg speed. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It's got a, a 10 and a minus 10. Does that change anything? Is that changing something in here? No? Or is that changing the... I don't know. As I see it, it's not actually changing anything. However, I think I've just noticed a bug. Um, if another user tries to use the same console, it allows them and then crashes me out. But I haven't crashed. I've just been prevented from getting out of this console. How do, how do I get out of this console now? Let me out, please. I don't think I can. I think I'm 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 stuck inside the console. That's it. I think I'm I think I'm actually stuck. So that is basically centration at the moment. I'm gonna because this is the kind of game I want to follow. It looks really interesting. If you've ever played Space Station 13, it's a really good game. Not played too much of it, but I've been following it for a long time. And this is like a 3D version of it. So this is something I really want to follow, and I want to show you in its stages of development. So each time a new update comes out, I'll show you a bit more about it. Because I think this really, this game really needs some backing. They're obviously struggling with money. They're only a, a small development team, really, who's working on this. So it's been taking a while to actually get this out. But I think this really needs to be out there so people can actually see it. It's well worth checking out. I'll put the link to the Steam Early Access in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.